Hi, welcome back. No, I am Jagdish Kumar Raidu. You know very well. This is not regular session. So, as part of uh, like you know your career guidance and as well as what are the new trends going on SAP, I would like to introduce few people previously by using a uh, couple of sessions encounter one and encounter two. Now, I am trying to introduce my friend and colleague Banu. He is completely evolved and shown his professionalism in a SAP testing as well as non SAP testing. So today encounter with Banu, we're going to have a very pleased and fantastic session. Let me introduce Banu, actually real time professionals. He worked across multiple multinational corporations and he is having the depth of experience to handle SAP testing or non SAP testing, as well as he is one of the key, uh, you know, consultant, test consultant, when he was working with the tough clients like Unilever and other uh, pioneer projects. So, hi, Banu, how are you? Hey, hi, Jagdish, I'm doing good. How are you? It's been a long time. We have worked around uh, uh, seven to eight years ago, continuously three years with a tough journey across different projects. Am I right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm also recollecting the memories when we work together there. Yeah, it's good, nice to work with you. Me too. I feel it is a blessing to work with you. And uh, I would like to ask you, uh, what is your basic qualification, Bono? See, I completed my master's in computer science. Uh, basically, I'm a post post graduate. Okay. Uh, that's great to that's hear. All, uh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. And that's great to hear. Like a master of computer application. So generally, like uh, some pe people who did B Tech and MCA, uh, ninety percent they will choose a database or else you know front end or else some coding technologies. What is the key reason to choose testing as your career? Because I'm very much interested in finding the, you know, uh, loopholes, finding, you know, basically from uh, my, uh, from my childhood itself, you know, my father and mother used to say, whenever you pick any item, why you are uh, uh, screwing that item? So I felt very happy screwing the item okay. uh, because when I do that activity, so I felt very happy. So basically, okay. maybe that is the reason I chose the testing because identifying the defects in coding, uh, whoever uh, the consultants, the configuration, everything. When I go into it, I feel very happy and I feel very good. I know some 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 feeling I got uh, when I'm working. Uh, I'm debugging something and uh, picking the loopholes in the code or config. You know, I felt very happy. That is why maybe I chose the testing. I love your answer. This is the fact. Uh, I have seen uh, uh, many people who has chosen testing. They have a kind of mindset to do to do the probe something and uh, to do some research and uh, methodology kind of thing. They wanted to take uh, nut, nuts and bolts out of it. So uh, I love it. Okay. So like, uh, uh, what is your first company? And uh, initially, when you joined as a fresher for testing, uh, what kind of situations you faced? While working, are you comfortable on the day one itself, or else how it will be? No, because I'm day one. I'm comfortable oh. uh, because you know I love my work because you no, know, I love to do testing. That is why I chose this. So oh. from day one itself, I'm uh, I'm eager to when I will get work and I will uh, pick up the loopholes in the coding. You know, pick up the loopholes in the requirements. Uh, so I'm eager to get it. I'm eager to, uh, you know, work on those areas. So when I get opportunity in IT, so immediately uh, I deployed into a project. Uh, so, so it's a pressure kind of thing. So my, my, my team lead used to guide me how to uh, uh, see the requirement and how to uh, understand the requirement. Uh, so how to design the uh high level test scenarios on the requirement and the positive angle and then the negative angle you know 
my uh, maybe god blessed you know i got very good team leaders you know when i started my career they they used to give me some ideas techniques uh, how to do the testing with quality so maybe i followed my leaders i okay. follow my leaders because i see the seniority there so every every guy has their own uh, uh, methodology and own uh, uh, techniques uh, you know to find out the things so i used to keep uh, put an eye on those areas and i will get i i used to grab all those things you know uh, okay. like that you know my career started Uh, well said bono i would like yeah. to ask one question so like uh, i know that uh, we worked together in uh, uh, one of the top companies mnc and uh, there you are my testing counterpart uh, in sap and i i have observed your journey is flourishing in sap from uh, version to version but i would like to ask before sap you worked in any non sap or else your complete career in sap testing no only just one project i did in non sap that okay. is uh, into automation project actually okay. i got an opportunity in automation so that i picked up and i did it only for six months so after that my career completely into uh, sap only sap different different uh, modules i worked for uh, so different versions also uh, god bless uh, opportunity has come in working in ecc Uh, okay. and then uh, as for hana and okay. then uh, now currently the public cloud part also so okay. opportunities has come to me because i love my work so okay. maybe because of that reason god has given the opportunities to me to work in uh, you know new technologies too i got it even we also uh, almost similar like you we write functional specification on top of it uh, we'll do a few t functional <laughs> testing after that we'll hand over the bill to you you, you know very well almost uh, we are all, we are at the similar uh, stand uh, for uh, you know testing being a functional consultant the only thing is that you know we'll do less negative scenarios compared with uh, uh, qa team so but i would like to ask one thing like uh, in quality assurance Uh, like uh, certain times you will find a tough situations like you know your functional specification or uh, bd business document or whatever you call the document is written in a such a manner but uh, there is no correlation between build as well as your functional document and uh, you are closely like a bridge between your, the complete business side what they are looking for as well as what we are developing being your colleague uh uh at functional side or technical side so like you know if you find such a difference okay like you know your business analysis says from the client is uh, xyz and here completely converse abc is developed such kind of situations also you might have seen in your journey so how did you handle that one if you find a difference build difference mm. yeah yeah that's a good question Yeah. many times you know uh, in my career not only one time uh, you know i have seen couple of times this uh, happened okay. See, my uh, as part of testing uh, my point of view you know we require the approved requirements okay. and the approved functional specifications so okay. once it is approved uh, so we will we will look at that fs is a bible to start with our testing so yeah. when uh, when we when we write when we design test cases you know we okay. will consider only the approved the requirements and approved fss that's all that okay. the first prerequisite for us uh, to start with the designing the test cases got it then yeah once build comes uh, uh, let me complete my answer yeah, once please, build please. comes once will comes then uh, we will put that uh, designed test cases execute on the system okay then only we come to know that you know the difference between fs and the code okay sometimes you know functional okay. consultant design some logics so uh, the coders of abapus uh, they logic may, they might be changed correct uh, so when we identify like that these situations are identified like this and you know as a tester as a part of testing team as i part of testing team uh, yeah. actually i love that because we used to find more defects in their code no so <laughs> we used to identify many many defects in it 
and we that is accountability for us to uh, to show to the management team as well i got it i got it yeah. see that's here, all. that is I, how we do it yeah. here i can tell uh, the expertise at sap side you like you know almost it's like you know functional consultant plus additional analysis you have but uh, whereas non sap like you know it's a complete different journey because sap is the tool it is the package right you know which button and where it is located and if something is developed everything is on paper so if any anything new, apart from a standard if anything new developed also you will have a certain mindset being a functional or a testing consultant so that's why you can thoroughly enjoy this process as a functional consultant only being a testing uh, tester also am i correct right so i yeah you are 100% right yeah so people have a like you know dilemma outside like you know testing uh, sap testing they will think that you know this is testing is something uh, different functional consultant is doing some different job uh, apart from uh, documentation wise it is different testing side also a lot of documentation will be there compared with functional consultant that is also very strict documentation test cases and test proof and test Correct. analysis a lot of thing even if we capture here and there also we can able to manage it but for you completely audit also will be there full audit right for testing at the end of the project or something like yes, that yes exactly 100% uh, so it, i yes. feel that handling testing is uh, tough than a functional consultant because i have seen in sap live about other uh, non sap technologies and i would like to ask like uh, yes so, you are right yeah suppose um, uh, you how many domains you work actually currently like you know which domain you have started retail like that how many domains so when i i started my career with uh, manufacturing department okay <clears throat> and then uh, uh, worked in uh, retail finance okay. banking so okay. i worked on all these domains. yeah i got an opportunity on all these yeah okay so you tell me one thing you worked on uh, uh, ecc i know very well and you are my friend and you worked on after that s4 on a few projects now you are saying that public cloud right it's uh, like you know how it differs this uh, public cloud in terms of your work stress actually compared with it is a new right completely now in sap sap decreased my you know uh, effort sir uh, difficult of uh, my effort oh okay. decrease my effort okay. sap changing to some technology to other technology you no know, it is okay. reducing my effort testing effort because you know in ecc we have to remember everything uh, the table names uh, transaction codes uh, you know any custom development happen then we need we have to remember the custom t codes custom uh, background jobs everything we have to remember in our brain no mind so yes. uh, coming to asorhana uh, asorhana you know little bit you know uh, reduced our effort uh, you know it's it's faster than ecc asorhana okay. system is faster than ecc and here you know fury fury also comes here here everything is app based uh, you know back end you know sap gui system you know fr- front end is sap fiery uh, for the clients you know only they will work on fiery that uh, configuration everything has uh, will be done in uh, asorhana system back end side okay i am telling you i am not giving you the more details technically but i know but i, do, I don't want in this yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. i correct i am giving generally the overview correct uh, coming to public cloud uh, implementation also happens in public cloud Yeah, this is a predefined system. Uh, okay. Configuration is also inbuilt in the public cloud. Okay. There is you cannot configure anything. Uh, if unless it is really required, if it is really uh, client is client requirement is not uh, suitable, some it is not supporting. Then only they go for uh, development in uh, public cloud. Otherwise, it's predefined system which they can use directly uh, the clients. they can okay. use it that is what uh, the uh, public cloud completely in theory based everything is on everything is in app only every activity it will be done in app theory app everything okay. uh, so that is that's how the difference between ecc asorhana and public cloud 
in my point of view generally i am telling you i am not going into deeper the technically i got it i got it i got it so like uh, uh, but even if we, if it is theory based also like you know you have a predefined processes that need to be get implemented there should be some deviation right and there could be a chances like you know back end uh, someone need to be develop any new app tiles we will call it as a tiles right our apps okay so if new thing developed if it is uh, i mean if it is not properly developed so then uh, you might have chances to you know uh, the situation where you have to be the bridge between your business as well as this uh, technical and functional consultant uh, you found any such kind of scenarios as an only predefined uh, scenarios they have used that is there that is there in all the technologies actually correct correct is yeah. there in all the technologies not only in sap okay definitely we can have 100% defect free, defect free product to the client Yeah. we are giving our best and uh, we are giving our uh, we are putting our magnet to uh, the quality product to the client okay so we are we, everybody in any industry everybody will put 100 they can have 100% defect free product when when it goes to live uh, the product and the product goes to live then only you know whatever uh, comes into our mind we have put all those things all in us everything and executed tested the system thoroughly when it goes live we what we we don't know what happens uh, which scenario they run sir some new come system will work definitely okay. that that has to be included in the system so uh, so we cannot assure 100% defect free product to the clients these got, these has to be understand these these things has to be understand by the clients too that is what uh, i am uh, thinking i got it you yeah. whatever said uh, uh, absolutely uh, correct in uh, in terms of you know working actually this is what happens most of the situations but i have a question like uh, generally it won't happen out of my into i am asking this question for example if you take uh, throughout your journey okay so certain build generally what you take and you gather the requirements and you uh, you try you try to test it properly and they also approves and you know sign up also you will get it uh, get for your uh, testing agreement and everything is fine and functionally we will get it and technically get it once it goes to the production okay even one situation like uh, Mm. you wanted to come back in next phase um were not satisfied like you know it's a mistake not at your end or uh, service company end uh, who served actually certain times uh, it's the failure at uh, business side also they are not giving something properly once it moved to production they might come back in next phase do we have any situation like this actually build is successful at our end but uh, customer is not satisfied in the pgls uh, that's that's the different story actually that's okay. different story your voice Once is breaking up done breaking breaking your voice inside when it goes for uh, go less go i that i told you previously okay is <clears throat> okay Okay. Uh, that is what uh, i said in the previous for the previous question i said the same so once the testing sign off uh, from our side everything is approved by the client okay. then we will release to go live when it goes to go live support i see many scenarios or uh, uh, that is what uh, clients will get new scenarios when they get new scenarios you know then only they come to know that the system is not satisfying our requirements Got they it. feel they they feel like you know that's a business and this requirement uh, 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 breaking somewhere yeah uh, sorry for the disturbance i missed uh, your last sentence actually yeah ah uh, when it goes for when it goes to post go live support clients you know may 
get the new scenarios which is not developed and they feel that impacts their business completely then only they'll get the feeling like you know dissatisfaction of the product got it yeah. but as a part of it team we have to make them understand saying that you see uh, this this requirement know where we recorded and we have not received from your uh, team side too we have to convince the client and we have to understand him and uh, you know we have to make him understand that's the, that's that's the uh, thing management team has to do with the client and he has to understand the situation too i got it sometimes in that situations only that happens with the client that's all other than that uh, you know client is good with the product then they are okay to use it small small things you know will come in post go yeah, post yeah. go live support that's okay they will accept it no problem i got it you have given uh, whatever the last insight right that is very interesting to hear in that uh, turmoil situation how to set up our mind we got it the way you answered it's really uh, fantastic i would like to ask one question banu like someone uh, would like to see the career in sap testing okay now we have a trends like ecc is almost closing to end and espor hana is coming and after that uh, public cloud and other things are uh, you know moving uh, up actually in the uh, professional journey so mm-hmm. how they have to plan their career like you know if they would like to get into the sap testing rather than non sap testing non sap testing it has become more tough actually why i am asking this one because project to project different automated tools came okay previously we used to have selenium and hp uh, like that you know some three to four tools are there now more testing tools are there that's why i would like to ask your suggestion how comfortable it is like you know someone would like to see the career in sap testing and what is your suggestion see generally i'll give my suggestion okay because why i am telling this yeah i love my work got it i am i am you know very much interested in because i like to find out the uh, loopholes in the others coding Correct. others uh, the system configured by others because i love it yeah so i feel comfortable if you give if you want me yeah. to work 24 by 7 also i will work here because i love it that is why i feel comfortable to work 24 percent i got it. it is not you know choosing you know because getting money over here more money so choose this technology correct uh, no no some other technology comes uh, we'll get more money on that than the technology so we can, we cannot feel good there we cannot spend 24 by 7 effort we cannot give our best there okay. because when you will give your best when you love your work then only you will give your best correct so correct. identify your skill i am giving a suggestion to the youngsters over here identify your skill where you love to work 24 by 7 correct. are are you interested in coding okay choose coding are you interested in uh, functional skills so then choose functional Correct. Are you interested in some uh, BA? Choose BA. There are, there are hundreds of jobs available over here. But Correct. we have to. The youngsters has to identify their own skill. It's not that they have to choose it. It's not about the money. Correct. Correct. Money definitely comes. Business uh, is uh, year by year. When you improve your experience, definitely your money will get increased automatically. But you know, you get a hundred percent satisfaction that okay, I love. you are loving your work and you are continuing there definitely okay. will continue long time there when you love your work there if you don't love then you cannot continue in the field where what of field you choose okay. okay that is the present wherever you love you identify your skill and love it and continue in that area that okay. is what my suggestion is to Uh, well said that is absolute truth uh, out of the uh, just out of uh, what you have explained um, being a suggestion to youngsters i can make out like uh, first thing is that they should pay the interest what they have to choose it whether it is 
quality assurance testing or else coding or else uh, functional testing or else anything for that matter in respect of the IT field or IT field. First thing they have to choose according to their interest and second thing is that uh, they, sh they should be focused uh, for that you know to, to do that work having the situation analysis and you know understanding the requirements when the new things comes up they, they should be ready to learn according to the industry standards. Okay, thank you so much, Banu. Yeah, that is so yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Banu, for giving us time. Yeah, uh, that uh, is what I love it. Yeah. So, for one last statement, I will. Yeah, please. And then we'll close the video. Yeah. What I'm saying, you know, when they when they show interest, automatically focus comes. When they auto, mm -hmm. when automatically focus comes, so then. They will put more effort and they will do best in it. Correct. And they will go heights in that industry, whatever the field it is. Correct. That is Correct. what my suggestion to youngster. Yeah. yeah, that's all from my side. Thanks for uh, the opportunity and uh, you know uh, spending time with you. It's a nice... Uh, Banu? It's our pleasure. Uh, like uh, one final question. So apart from IT, what, what are your hobbies? Other than IT, what you wanted to do it? I think voice is breaking. Oh, okay. Thank you. Somehow network issue. Voice is breaking. Yeah, I'm able to hear you. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, apart from IT, what do you want to do it? That's the last question. I didn't hear you. Okay, anyhow, thank you, Banu. Uh, so some network issue, guys, and we'll close this session. Is if uh, someone would like to see the career uh, in SAP testing, and you can take the suggestions which is given by Banu and play, pay your interest and uh, try to get onto uh, like you know the situation where uh, the technology demands you have to learn accordingly and you can you know lighten up your careers thank you so much thanks for spending your time here have a great day i wish you all the best jay bharat thank you